Hi guys, it's May here. Welcome to my channel everyone and welcome to Cooking 101. For today's dish, we're going to make pancit. Tomorrow is my sister's birthday, but today is Sunday, is the 17th, but I know in the Philippines right now is already the 18th. So for today's supper, I decided to make some pancit. So these are my ingredients for my pancit for today. It's just a very plain and simple ingredients. Over here, I have some Chinese cabbage. For my pancit for today, I'm going to use the roast chicken and this is mostly breast chicken. We bought two uh, roast chicken yesterday and here at home, always the breast part is the one that is always, you know, left behind. No one really wants to eat the breast part of the chicken. So this is what I'm going to use for my pancit for today. Over here, I have four pieces of uh, garlic chopped, two bowls of uh, the carrots, one regular size onions. I also have my scallions. This is uh, the Italian parsley, and I have the yellow and red bell peppers there. For the noodles that I'm going to use for today, I'm going to use the sotanghon or the vermicelli noodles and i'm also going to use the filipino noodle it's called canton pancit canton so so these are the two types of noodles that i'm going to use for today also for the seasoning i'm going to use the garlic pepper and herb spices i'm using the maggi seasoning if you guys are not familiar of this seasoning especially the ones that are non-filipino who are subscribed on this channel you can get this one in any asian supermarket maggi is um a seasoned soy sauce it's mixed with something else to make the uh food a little bit extra delicious it enhances the flavor of the dish and i'm going to use the 100 percent pure canola oil and also i have my fresh whole grind peppercorn so i'm just gonna you know crush it okay guys let's start cooking and i hope you guys will like this very simple uh pancit noodles okay friends the first thing we're going to do is we're going to saute our ingredients so i'm going to use three to four tablespoon of the cooking oil you guys can use any kind of cooking oil that you guys have available in your household Okay friends, to check if our oil is already ready to use, you have to dunk your wooden spoon or your wooden chopsticks if you guys are using chopsticks. And if you guys see it's boiling like that at the bottom, then that means that your oil is already ready to use. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to saute the garlic. But if you guys want to saute the onions first, that should be okay as well. So we're just going to wait for the garlic to turn into a golden color and then we're going to saute the onions next. Next, the onions. The green onions. Since our chicken is already cooked and it's already seasoned, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to saute the veggies. For those of you that are not going to use the seasoned chicken, like you know if you guys are going to start from the scratch, then what I do is I'm going to saute the raw chicken with this, um, with this ingredients here. But since our chicken is already cooked and seasoned, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stir fry the veggies. So let's start with the carrots. The bell peppers. Thank you. 
the cabbage and we're going to give this one a good mix okay let's mix this Okay, next we're going to season our veggies. So, black pepper. I love using the fresh dried black pepper, guys. And don't be so stingy if you guys are using the black pepper. Black pepper, they are good for your heart. I'm also going to use the cool running uh, garlic pepper and herb spices. For those of you that lives here in North America, you can get this spice at Walmart. And uh, if you live in Canada, you can get this one at, at a Canadian Superstore. Next, I'm going to use the Maggi seasoning. Smells very good. Mix. Next, we're going to add our chicken. I have a lot of chicken, which is good. Mix. Okay, so after this, we're going to cover it for 15 minutes. Let's cover it. After 10 minutes, let's check our... Yeah, wow. Look at that, you guys. Mm, smells good. Okay. Next, we're going to add our noodles. So, I'll one first. And then I'm going to add the canton noodles. Next, we're going to add the Italian parsley. I think in Tagalog they call this one kinchai. Kinchai, kinchai, something like that. Okay, friends, this is our finished product. This is our pancet. 
If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed on my channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and have a blessed day everyone. Wherever you are in the world. And may the good Lord bless us all. I hope you guys like this recipe.